shoot, did we already break this thing? Dude, this is sick. It's like a jet ski. My fingertips are not working because they just got damaged. When are you gonna come up with your little whiskey bottle? Check this out guys, this is our guy Scotty right here. He got addicted to dang sauce just about like everybody else and he's gonna crack this sucker open and it's just gonna go straight down the hatch. That's why you gotta purchase with caution right there but they're on Amazon Prime free shipping and they're going super quick. You can put a little toilet in there cause look, it got a toilet paper holder right here. Son, this thing looks so good right here, dude, man. In the sunlight, dude, right now when the sun's a little bit farther down, dude, that blue is popping. Wow. It almost reminds me of the Porsche blue, dude. dude. I, I'm almost wanting to say that that's the exact same color as the yeah. Porsche Miami blue, and that gray pops too, dude. dude it that, looks so good at this angle. I think these two colors are perfect on anything, especially on boats. I know a lot of boats use these two color combos, and we had to go with this color combo, dude. They had another color combo. It was like white and lime green, but dude, I think it was absolutely Absolutely whack. Dude. Yeah, it did not look right. It didn't pop. This color right here looks more like a, of a nicer boat. Yeah. That looked more of like an older school. I know the old style boats, the, the wakeboarding boats, they were that color, but this, this is where it's That's at. a new age color right there, but man, go ahead and start the video off how we like to start dude, it off. man, uh, welcome back to the channel, guys. So today we are up here on the mountain, and as you guys seen in the previous video, man, look at this, man. I'm still in shock. It's still something super new to me. We man, haven't even is, tested it, We dude. haven't even tested it out. We haven't even really walked through the whole entire interior to show you guys what this thing is all about and what it's capable of and something and stuff like that. And as for our shop over there, dude, the electricity is finally done, right? And yes, I think sir. they have like two little things to button up and stuff like that. The lifts are all working. So I mean, we're we're almost ready, dude. dude we're super excited, man. There's so much like major things happening right now. Porsche, we're getting a major part tomorrow, dude, too. That's gonna be crazy, man. That part ain't no ordinary part. This no. we've never bought this kind of part ever in our life so we're super excited to show you guys about super that super excited dude. so i guess the main focus or the majority of this video is going to be to break in this brand new 255 yeah. yamaha XD. xd dude and you said what do we have like 10 hours before it's first service but we have to like go slow for like five ten minutes or you, something like yeah, that you got to make sure to break in that engine properly he said uh to break it in at an hour and a half right now it has 0.8 hours so we just need an hour of just some whiskey throttle dude we're just gonna go smooth on this thing but this thing has the dual engine supercharged, supercharged 500 horsepower stuff like that which is just crazy that's dude. insane because that's like what the new like the actual legit ski boats have yeah. that's the power that they have like the moombas the super air because yeah, you need a lot of power especially if you want to be wakeboarding you know it has those little uh, rams that go down that make a wake yeah. dude all that stuff dude yeah, so should we take this to the water and talk about that interior or should we go ahead and uh, talk about the interior here how do you we, see? we can talk about the maybe talk about it here because when we're on the water we may have a lot of fun dude or what do you think that's i don't true. know <laughs> honestly that's true let's just go ahead and show you guys this interior and then we'll talk about it let's do it already break this thing first day dude i don't know why they're smoking probably because they're new and we're going downhill you know what i mean yeah that could be very true i did kind of smell it when i was actually bringing the boat here really? for the very first time so maybe that is a normal thing there's only God, that's weird. they're getting hot yeah they're getting real hot man i don't know that other side was smoking too right yeah the other side smoking. wow we're just trying to make it to the water here. We got to actually probably just dip in that back end into the water, cool it off. What if we put this pin in there and left it in there? Ooh. Is 
that how, no I think that's just for reversing you want to put that in when you reverse because there's a uh, like a special setup on this on yeah, this trailer this is, right this is a hydraulic there's actually fluid in there like brake fluid so that's when it com right when it compresses when it compresses it actually pushes the brakes you know your truck is not controlling the brakes the trailer is so that, that's what kind of sucks about this kind of setup but but maybe that's normal dude Maybe it's normal. What do you like, think? I think we're just, I mean, we're, we're almost, yeah, we're almost down. Dude. We're halfway down. I say we just keep going. This is new, th new things we gotta, we gotta figure out about this kind of stuff. I mean, maybe there's people out there with these, there's probably a lot of the newer boats have these trailers now. I so. mean, I don't see why they would uh, add that with this boat if they, if it wasn't a good trailer, you know? Yeah, I mean? I mean, this is a great trailer, but I don't know. Well, I guess we're just gonna keep going and see what happens. goodness guys this thing is just incredibly smooth super sweet i mean this is just i mean it is a brand new boat but dude just compared to the boats that we used to have this thing's on a whole different level dude, dude the main reason why this sucker is smooth is probably because it's got two jets supercharged engines yeah, probably two four cylinders supercharged making around 500 horsepower combined and let's just Are go you ahead kidding and, me dude, 500 horsepower that's exactly kind of like where the bigger boats come in play the big weightboarding boats that you need a lot of power they because, have like ford raptor motors in yeah theirs. ford raptor motors are like 450 500 maybe even 600 horsepower if you tune them but this is plenty for this yamaha boat svho i think wow. the superchargers are up front you kind of barely can see them up there but dude these things are immaculate clean 1.3 hours or 1.2 hours we need like 0.3 more hours and we, we got 1.5 and i think that's break in you yeah, know what i mean we're taking right. it easy right now no full throttle but when you get up to 6,000 rpms this thing just wants to scream and go dude, dude this this thing just slices through that water like no problem and of course on the back end it maneuvers better than an older uh, boat that we got yeah. because of like a little flap that it's got yeah back it there, got right? a fin back there usually the older boats like our boat you have to add that stuff to after market but this one already comes with a fin super easy to maneuver and stuff like that the back end over here is super nice super huge and we did mention that these seats right here slide so you can slide this sucker wow. and chill back here <laughs> probably watch like the wakeboarders you know do their thing over here and also we found out that there's storage behind each one of these compartments so you can put your towels back there and stuff like that you got speakers all the speakers light up you got a little power port and uh this stuff right here man you sped them up over there didn't you dude they're yeah. in the middle of polishing this thing dude. they wanted to, they wanted to clean it up a little bit more but i was like no it's all right we'll clean it up that's yeah it used to be our specialty back in yes, the day sir. so i mean but anyway it's super clean and it actually has speaking controls back here as well i know all the yamahas usually have that i don't know if any other boat has that but it's super awesome you could be floating back there turn up your volume you turn it down and just have a good old time well dj station back there man yeah, a but, huge shout out to white cycle marine dude. those guys hooked it up so i appreciate really? them speeding everything up and giving us an amazing deal dude, dude that is awesome dude and as for the sound system in this thing it is immaculate has wet sound got a sound bar right there and apparently that sound bar points the music to whoever's wakeboarding tubing back there so you can listen while you're back there tons of storage you already seen this little table in the previous video super easy make you a little sandwich go back into the water close it up you're good to go open each one of these seats up you got the bladder tank so you see there's a bladder yeah. tank right there super massive and also there's one on this side along with your battery uh connection so you can disconnect your batteries there's the bladder tank two dual batteries this is just amazing dude and this is not even half of it dude, dude there's still so much more to find and i noticed something about those bladder tanks they're actually plastic instead of the like the bl the bags or something like yeah, that yeah there is actually one bag on this boat there's two plastic bladder tanks and there's one bag actually in the middle over here so if you crack this open 
Right here, you got one bladder that, tank right there, I think dude. that's if you want to make tsunamis. Dude, you can make... I don't know, dude. We're going to have to test out these waves for dude, sure, once dude. Once we heal up, man, <laughs> you know, know what I mean? It sucks, but you know what? It's We're having fun already just out here, you know, just cruising. Oh, I love it when it's on a weekday. There's not a lot of boats. The so water's smooth. Dude, smooth you ain't got sailing, dude. About. And what do we got right here, dude, dude? This is probably the biggest compartment on this boat. It's almost like you can technically, if you clean everything out, you can use it as a changing room or you can put a little toilet in there because look, it got a toilet paper holder right here, I'll dude. I'll tell you what, man. Dude, you drop on those suckers down there, you close this and you have yourself a good time. You get out and get back on the water, dude. <laughs> that is so cool. I think they call that a changing room based off their video that they had yeah, it's super online. deep. We just got a bunch of life jackets in there and a bunch of seats. We got a bunch of extra seat cushions because apparently you can throw a big old cushion right, right here there. and you can slide a cushion right here and make this a big old like lounge area and you just chill out over wow, here. That's dude. so cool. Of course we got a speaker right there that lights up blue and the coolest feature up front here that no other boat I think has Dude, a front ladder, dude. And an anchor, too. And Look an at that, anchor. dude. And an anchor. You know what? This is perfect, I mean, for sandbars. Like we mentioned, there's tons of sandbars on the edges of this river. And you pull up to the front end of your boat, you want to drop this down, everybody gets out easily, and it's not, you don't have to jump yeah, and stuff and like that. And you can only pull up to sandbarges with this jet boat, you know what yes. I mean? You can't do it with the prop boat, you're going to bust you the can, prop up. You can, but you got to, like, pick your prop, your, your, your prop up, you got to trim that sucker up and stuff like that. But actual wakeboarding boats, you can't, I don't think you can do it at at all because yeah. the prop is technically almost in the middle of their boat so you cannot pull up to sandbars at all dude, dude. so this is the crazy. only i believe the only wakeboarding boat that you can pull up to sandbars in dude. that's awesome man that's that what makes legit. this boat super it's literally all in one boat for a great price and look at the lights right dude, there dude. this is the most important piece the, the the driver area you got a nice big screen right here you got these nice lights that are like strapped around everywhere looks super cool you even got like lights up in here right here if it gets dark you can light up the inside I mean, this is just amazing. Got lights. You can control everything on this thing. But the most craziest thing go ahead, go on this it. is these paddle shifters. These ain't to switch gears right here. This right here, you press this one button and you can switch from one throttle two throttles or your paddle shifter so you go technically in the paddle shifters when you're pulling up to a dock you go forward back forward back super easy i'm our old yamaha you gotta you gotta get used yeah. to the maneuver i already got used to that i'm pretty good at it but this is makes anybody can drop this so boat, much better and that's really yeah. made for like pulling up to the dock or onto your trailer loading up or whatnot making it easier yes. and stuff like that and what that extra flap in the middle just makes everything so much smoother dude. Dude. yes sir but man that's just some awesome review stuff right there dude we don't got much daylights out here we might have to pack it up and come back out here in the morning dude, time tomorrow dude. in the morning get some epic shots So focused. Alrighty guys, so it is actually the next day here. And yesterday we just did some bare minimum testing with that sucker right there, just trying to break it in or whatnot. It was super awesome, but you know what? Today is the day where we do some wide open rips, see the top speed on this thing, so on and so forth fill up those bladder tanks, see what type of waves this thing can make, drop those little paddle thingies out the back, and maybe surf. Dude, dude think, and man? I don't know about that. I think I still got some pretty open wounds in here, oh, yeah. and I think you do too, and we yeah. don't want to risk any bacteria from like river water, you know that what I mean? That is very true. It's not worth it. We'll just definitely have to heal up before we use this Yamaha dude, board right there. that here. is crazy. I didn't even know that. Yamaha makes a board, dude. dude. We'll, we'll, 100% we'll show you guys how we rip that board once we're healed up. Dude, I <laughs> cannot wait. That's going to be super epic, but you you know what also I would like to test out along with this boat 
our old Yamaha boat dude, right next to it. That's what I'm saying, dude. If I could take it out right now, dude, that'd be legit. Line bro. them up. Next time. That Let's thing goes 55 miles an hour or 50 miles an hour. I wonder if this thing goes faster, dude. We're going to find out today. Yes, We're going to probably yeah, definitely do some full throttle rips on that thing. Top it, speed. See dude. what kind of wake it makes, how big the wave is. It's going to be awesome, dude. Dude, I am super excited. But right now, what we're going to start with doing is actually running down the mountain and putting some fuel in this Raptor because it's having a little bit of trouble pulling this heavy boat it's right here, It's struggling a little bit. Maybe we should connect the TRX. Dude, the you know TRX I mean? would haul this thing around yes, and drift sir. with it or whatnot. <laughs> Easily. <laughs> but anyways, we're going to run down the mountain, get some fuel, maybe put some fuel in that thing. I think it takes the best fuel, right? I don't know. I know the, that Yamaha, our old one, takes the cheapest fuel, what? but I don't know. This one's different. This has the supercharged uh, oh, yeah, engine. Definitely in the best it, fuel then. If it's supercharged, you want to put some high octane maybe stuff in so. there. Maybe <laughs> so. But let's just go ahead and run down the mountain, get a few supplies, and then hit the water again. Alrighty guys, so we are over here at the new Goon Squad garage with our boat after just ripping around in the river. I gotta say, that thing is pretty quick at 55 miles an hour of a top speed. I think that's plenty, that's all you need. Then of course we filled up all the tanks with some water and we did some wake surfing or our little sister did some wake surfing because we couldn't and she did a pretty good job and it makes a pretty dang good wake. We threw the drone in the sky as well, so we had a little bit of an aerial shot, but man, overall, had an absolute blast out there. Wish we could definitely do some more wake surfing, but that's gonna be here in the very near future. Overall, can't wait to actually get back out there and just do some more ripping with that boat right there. It's just gonna be a fun time. Maybe have some family and some friends on there and just, you know, maybe do a little grill out or dude, something like that. Once we dude. heal, dude, I'm telling you, man, we're gonna start, we're, we're gonna get some wake surfing going, That dude. is right, but you know what? We're gonna set the boat aside. We're just gonna leave it right here. We're not gonna throw our thousand dollar cover on it because it's inside now away from the elements yeah. we're not too worried about it i guess that's more for like outdoor stuff you yes, know what sir. i mean but anyways we're over here at the shop and look at this dude come on over here get dude, closer flip man. that switch man boom boom, boom. boom. that is awesome that dude is so cool all the lifts work the three car stacker works all we need is just to hook up a compressor to it this right here works our tire machine our balancer works dude everything works except for that light right there. Just one light right I think there, he, dude. They're gonna come back and they're gonna make a few little corrections, I believe so. So one more day and everything will be 100% completed. Did we check the office lights? Did, I did, did they not. Work? Do they work? I have no oh. idea. Go ahead and pop those suckers on. See? They sure do. Look at that. Dude, nice. that is nice, dude. Some nice warm lights, dude. I can't wait to actually go ahead and like do all the stuff in that office. We gotta figure out what we wanna do for the floor. We got cabinets on the way.
play and all that good stuff. A bunch of epic stuff is happening here and we're gonna be moved in here before you know it. And of course we still got to build our fence, which I think we're gonna build it our, ourselves because you got a quote and how much was that quote for? It was like $25,000, which- Oh my goodness. Uh, that's pretty pricey, but I don't know. That may be how Normal. much fence are, you know, I don't know, dude. But we do want to do like a privacy fence, I believe on the back. And I think on that side over there and over here, we'll do the chain link. So yeah. maybe we can handle we'll it. We'll give it a shot, dude. We'll give it a shot. Well, at least I mean? we'll try the back end over yeah. there, dude. Or whatnot but other than that i guess that's gonna be pretty much for here one more thing i want to check is if this color is similar to this boat let's see let's see oh man that's pretty that is actually pretty close dude it's a little bit lighter I think. maybe a little bit dude but that looks really close on it, camera it does it looks really good but anyways right now we're gonna probably run to mom's house and we got finally an awesome park for this porsche right here so let's just head on over there guys we're not going to show you too much of that porsche part right there it's a super epic piece but you know what we're probably going to save that for the next video right now we're over here just kind of just taking it easy on this saturday because we're just trying to recover <laughs> trying to recover i mean trying to put out videos for you guys as much as possible i mean um we're hanging in there i mean my fingertips are not working because they just got damaged so hard that they're like they're, they're trying to recover they're all scratched up <laughs> yep so actually your finger is like it's you basically it looked like it was shredded so you're missing half of your fingernail right yeah half of my finger was shredded right here at the tip which that was pretty bad right there but you know what we're recovering that's recovering i'm probably going to unwrap my hands this weekend and see how well they recover because i had them wrapped up for a week already so we'll go through that it's a lot of pain every day but you know what this is this is what it's about you know you get hurt and you got to get through it somehow you got to keep on going and it's it's a lot better especially with you guys because we're getting a lot of support a yes, lot of sir. just like comments of like telling us how we can recover faster yeah. somebody even even sent us some uh some special concentration that we could apply to it and it's supposed to like heal it up with like no scarring or anything for that and this dude. i don't know man i'm just scared to put anything on here but we'll test anything out <laughs> to see what what can heal us up faster honestly yeah dude. that is true but you know what we're just super happy that we're still able to share some videos with you guys and we're not really having to stop completely yeah and you guys are just supporting us along the whole entire way so we greatly appreciate every single one of you guys that's going to be a wrap for today's video, right? Yeah, that's going to be pretty much it. And uh, I guess we'll catch you guys in the next one. So with all that being said, thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Be sure to drop your comments and thoughts down below. We'll catch you guys next time. Peace. Peace.